This video is based on a paper I worked along with four other friends titled Insights on Measure of N-Dimensional Shapes. Details on the description. One of the things that we were taught at the end of mid school is the relationship between a triangle and a parallelogram with the same base and between same parallel bases. The area of a triangle is half the area of the parallelogram in such a case. Similar relationships also exist in three dimensions. The volume of a cone, for example, is one third the volume of a cylinder when they have a same base and are between same parallel bases. The context of this video is to understand if such a relationship can be generalized to any dimension n. Or more subtly, the question would be, is the nd volume, or let's call it the measure of n dimension of shape 1, one nth of the measure of n dimension of shape 2? If shape 1 and shape 2 follow strictly the same conditions we explored earlier. But before we start diving into the problem, we will need to explore the conditions I've been going around with for since the start of the video just to be rigorous. For the inner shape, the first condition is that it should be between two parallel bases of the outer shape. And that is also true for cylinder and cone, as it is for triangular prism and a triangle based pyramid. The second condition is that the inner shape should have one base overlapping a base of outer shape, while the other end of the inner shape should be touching at just one point of the outer shape. The third condition is that the base of inner shape should be decreasing to the point end at a constant linear rate. Off with that mumbo jumbo, let's jump straight into the more intuitive part. Before we dive in, an interesting explanation to make. Note how a circle with radius r in two dimensions reduces to a line of length 2r in one dimension, just as a rectangle reduces similarly to a line, and a cone in 3D reduces to a triangle in 2D. Let's take a triangle of base 2R with a median bisecting the base to begin exploring the relationship. The height of the triangle is H. If I draw a random base at a height H in the figure, the length of that base will then be 2M. Now, using the relations of similar triangles, it's not very difficult to derive that M is equal to small h over capital H times R. The amusing part is how we can use this fact and calculus to calculate the area of the triangle which we already know is 1 by 2 into base into height. That in 3 dimensions, let us take a cone with circular base of radius r. Taking a random base at a height h as we did earlier in case of triangle. At a random base, the circle will have a radius m. And using the relations of similar triangles, the same relationship holds m is equal to h by h r. Use this fact in calculus again to derive the volume of a cone which we know is 1 by 3 into base into height. And yes, I am implying that this relationship holds true for all dimensions and can in fact be proven for basis of any shape. To put this in perspective, let's try our hands on ND measure of a cone, shall we? Perhaps we can all agree that the ND measure of a cone is its base, which is N-1D measure of a ball, integrated from 0 to H. This is analogous to saying that measure of the 3D cone or its volume is 2D measure of a ball, which is its area of the circle, integrated from 0 to H which sounds well and true. Since we have a general formula for nd measure of a ball and the relationship m is equals to h by h into r, we can use those two to calculate the nd measure of a cone. And similarly, we can calculate the nd measure of a cylinder. And it shows the nd measure of a cone is one nth the nd measure of a cylinder. And the measure of a nd rectangular based pyramid is one nth of the measure of an nd cube. And the measure of a simplex in n dimensions is one nth of the measure of nd triangular prism. Let's do some brainstorming for a while, shall we? The area of a circle is pi r square. Now that can be expressed as a product of two variables a1 and a2. 
where a1 represents pi times r and a2 represents r. The area of a triangle is 1 by 2 into base into h. That can as well be expressed as a product of two variables, a1 and a2. The volume of a cylinder can be expressed as a product of three variables, a1, a2, and a3. And in general, the measure of n-dimensional shape can be expressed as k times a1 to the power n. And using what we just did earlier, but in more general sense, it can be proven that the relationship holds true for any dimension. And yes, in general, this works not just for a regular base, it also works for irregular and dimensional curves as bases. And that was the claim of this video in a broader sense. For a bonus part that the paper also covers is the introduction of a constant called ball factor. For the intuition of what that means, let's look at a few examples. If a triangle is inscribed in a circle with radius r, such that its base is the diameter and has height h. The ratio of the measure of 2d cone, that is the area of triangle, to the measure of 2d sphere, that is the area of circle, turns out to be h by r times 1 by pi. Similarly, the ratio of measure of 3d cone to the measure of 3d sphere turns out to be h by r times 1 by 4. Does that sound any likely of generalization? In fact, it is provable that for n dimensions, the measure of nd cone to the measure of nd sphere can be generalized to the h by r times a dimension dependent constant called ball factor. And ball factor can be calculated using the relationship measure of n minus 1d ball divided by sub measure of nd ball. Sub measure here has been used to define the n minus 1 depth measurement of the anti shape. The sub measure, for example, of a sphere is the surface area of the sphere. Let's go deeper to understand what ball factor actually represents, shall we? If we are talking about two dimensions, the ball factor is the ratio in which the denominator represents the circumference of the circle, while the numerator represents the projection of the circle in one dimension. So therefore, ball factor in two dimensions is equal to length of diameter divided by circumference of the circle. And for three dimensions, the ball factor is equal to area of the great circle divided by surface area of the sphere. I hope that helped with getting a little more visual appeal to the ball factor. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and help the channel grow.